Hi, this is Steve Knight and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the Euro and the pair weakened on the continuing bullish dollar sentiment. The latest news from the soap opera that is Greece indicates that there are still deep divisions amongst members over the future bailout tranche. News indicates that at least 60 Conservative MPs in Germany are now opposing any deals with the embattled state. Moving on to economic news, in the coming session for the Euro will largely be at the mercy of a range of US data, considering that there is next to no EU news schedule. Turning to the cable and the pair charged higher and briefly touched a six week high as UK, UK CPI ticked higher. Headline CPI was at 0.1% and core CPI was also up at 1.2% year on year. This has continued to provide some buoyancy to the case for a rate hike by the Bank of England. However, falling food and fuel prices are still weighing upon overall inflation and may complicate any future decision. On the news front, watch out for the UK retail sales data forecast at 4.4% year on year due later. Moving on to the New Zealand dollar and the pair lifted thanks to a sharp rise in the global dairy auction prices by 14.8%. This is a welcome respite from the recent falls and subsequently the Kiwi dollar rally to the spot 66 handle before an increase in dollar sentiment re reigned the pair in. The New Zealand dollar currently trades around the spot 65.80 level but all eyes will be upon the US core CPI due shortly to see if the pair will take a tumble. Shifting to commodities now and crude oil has managed to remain above the $42 handle and closed up around 1.04%. In comparison, gold was relatively flat, closing up just 0.01% as it appears that the market is awaiting the upcoming US news. However, silver experienced a rout and closed down 3%, leaving some in the market wondering what is moving commodity markets currently. Finally, taking a look at our analyst pick of the day and the Aussie dollar is looking to move to the short side after failing to break through the bearish trend line. Taking a look at our RSI oscillator shows a bearish trend in play, whilst the 12 and 30 EMA have just crossed and price action is now looking.